Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're using the Oracle of Visions um, Oracle deck by Chiro Manchetti and I wanted to do a reading where I feel like we need to still infuse some energy into 2021. So I'm doing this reading uh, with the look at what is our weekly Oracle card guidance for this week ahead when you come to listen to this uh, reading and then also what is the message of empowerment that we need for 2021. So what is a message that we need to hold on to for this year? So um, I don't have any trinkets for you today. It's um, simply one, two, and three. Make a selection, see which number resonates with you. Go ahead and uh, use, uh, use that. You can go directly to your reading and listen to it. I just want to mention that I had actually recorded this quite um, uh, happily <laughs> early this morning and uh, I the audio was really really poor so I've had to re-record the audio and re-channel the messages so I hope they still resonate I hope it's all good and I hope um, that you are satisfied with this reading so go ahead make a selection it's one two and three and you can go directly to your reading so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we are asking uh, for today's reading, what is our weekly oracle card guidance? And what is our message of empowerment that we need for 2021? What is that message that we need to hear right now that's gonna help us as we go along? So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, give these cards a shuffle and I am going to choose a card for you. And so we have here the uh, number 38. So I feel here that um, this card, in this card, this woman is somebody who's afraid to actually go ahead and make a difference, go ahead and um, just take a hold of where she's headed to. I feel like there is a shyness, there's a feeling of being afraid of what one has experienced in one's life so far. And I feel like it's as if um, you're still looking at the previous experiences that you've had and that's still shadowing the experiences that, um, that you, are, you think you're going to have. And I want to say that this card is very much about looking at the purity of your intention and being able to allow that to give you the strength to be able to look forth and move ahead and yeah you may take a moment to to feel um, what has held you back or feel what has been in the way of your your fulfillment or the way forward for you but I think here there's a sense of uh, taking that time out reflecting taking that time out to feel your vulnerabilities but then at a certain moment being able to find that strength within you to be able to move ahead and to make that change in your life. So um, when I recorded this uh, initially I rambled on for quite a long time explaining all of this in quite a lot of detail but I'm just going to let this um, be quite short now and to the point um, because I'm I'm kind of trying to remember what was said and I'm no longer channeling it because I no longer have the cards ahead of me. And I do apologize because I don't know why I've lost the audio. I didn't exactly lose the audio, but the audio was just really poor and I can't really use it for this reading. Um, there are a couple of things. There's a sense that uh, there needs to be movement, but that movement is not right now. That when there is movement, it will be vibrant and you'll know when the time is right. But right now is, is just the time to be able to sit tight and feel. Feel what has wounded you in the past and what has stood in your way. And understand how it is that you need to move ahead and what it is that you need to do in order to unshackle yourself from some of the fears that have held you back. As you go along. There's also the sense here that these numbers, three, eight, um, I feel seven, they all feel like they have a particular value in your life right now. Um, if you're in your 30s, um, this, this message is also important for you, specifically for you. Um, there's also a sense here that 
one is quite emotional about the way in which one uh, approaches life. And if you had to separate the emotional aspect of it or where you feel sentimental about certain things and you just had to uh, chart a path for you, which was a rational path, um, quite a, a, a planned uh, path for you, something where you... Uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, something where you, you sit down, you look at it rationally and you say, okay, well, this is the way forward and this is what I need to be doing right now. Then I think that there is a great chance that you'll be able to have success as you go along and that some of what's holding you behind right now is your sentimentality, your emotions, where you've been hurt previously and where it is that you, you still need to go to. Um, there is a moment where we need to actually feel the vulnerability that we have, feel the need to protect ourselves, feel the need to hide away from the world. And that is an okay thing. Uh, but the, the warning here is not to spend too much of time doing that. And as soon as you feel that it's enough, then just allow yourself to move ahead, allow that movement to take place. So um, I just want to say here, one of the ways in which you can work with this is to overcome procrastination. Be one of those people that answers your emails or text messages immediately, as opposed to waiting to do so. It feels like there's a stagnant energy around you that needs to be moved or, or should be shed, and that it's up to you to decide when it's going to be shed, and that you don't need to use that as a kind of, um, um, like a defense mechanism, sort of, or something to protect you. It's like a self-soothing mechanism that you can actually decide, okay, uh, I'm, I'm finished with that, and, and then you can move ahead quite quickly, but you need to give the signal for that. So I think that's the message for you for this week, and I'm sorry, as I said, uh, I, I don't have the full channeled message that I had before, um, and the audio is just too poor to be able to put this on, on so I had to re-record it. Um, but that is what I'm getting for you now as I'm re-channeling this message. And that is also a bit of what I remember. And once again, I think the numbers 3, 8, 6, and perhaps 7 is an important number for you as you go along in this week. So however that applies to you, um, yeah, do let me know if this message resonates with you and how you feel about this. Um, once again, I think that you know, perhaps you feel more wounded or feel more vulnerable than you actually are, but uh, you have to give the signal in order to go ahead. And I think as the year goes by, the message of empowerment for you is that of um, learning to do things immediately or to be, to be consequent in a moment, as opposed to leaving things for later, as opposed to procrastinating, as opposed to uh, thinking that things may change as you go along. So just go ahead and do things uh, as soon as you're ready, but do it at that moment and don't procrastinate further. And you will know when it is to time to move ahead. Uh, it's key to know when, time, when it is time to move ahead, but it's also key for you to know when time is being lost and where you are um, wasting time or losing time and the moment is passing and then it's no longer an appropriate moment for you to go ahead. All right, so I think that is quite an important message for you. Um, yes, please stay healthy, stay safe, and, and stay blessed. Um, I'm going to send you all my love and blessings for the week ahead, and I will catch you next week. I hope that message was helpful. Okay, bye for now. So for those of you who have chosen the option number two, uh, we're asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance and what is the message that we need uh, for our empowerment for the year of 2021? So what is the message that's going to help us and then help us be more empowered as we go ahead in the year 2021? And so we're asking this question right now. And I'm just going to give this a shuffle. And we have the card here. It's the number 42. So this card is quite different from the first option in that I feel that in the first option, um, it's still a state of hibernation, but here 
it's like you're just taking a break. Here you're taking a break from a momentum that's been created. Now I feel that if you are at a point where you're waiting for things to happen and things haven't happened as yet, you don't need to be afraid because I feel like whatever you've done so far has set things into motion and there are things happening behind the scenes where uh, there's been progress. Now you might feel that you're at the beginning of your journey or you might feel that things haven't happened as the way you've wanted or you would have liked some answers already or like some confirmation of what's actually going on and you haven't actually received that but uh, here's a sense that whatever you've done has set things in motion, you're halfway there and even though you can't really see what the progress at this moment or you might not be able to feel the progress, maybe you can see the progress but you don't feel like you've made progress, there's a sense here that take a break, it's okay and start up again because here's somebody who knows where they're going, you have a very clear idea of what it is that you will need to to gain and how it is that you're going to be able to go about it. You might not see uh, the, those aspects where uh, you don't have control, but you've done whatever you can within your means to be able to affect a particular outcome. And now it's time to be able to let things um, kind of come to you. So it's as, as if you've walked halfway and you need to wait until fate or the events of your life walk towards you and so I just want to give an example here it's like as if you you know you want a pet right let's just say you want a pet, to have pets and you think about this kind of pet that you want and what breed it is and what kind of personality it will have and how you will meet it and then you let go of this idea and then you know in the future you don't need to worry because this pet is coming towards you and I feel like this is something in terms of your manifestation and in terms of your, your ability to be able to effect your future and uh, create your own future that you've already set into motion and it's something is in the works already. So I feel like that, that's just an example, but you know, you can use that in terms of your ideal work situation or your home or uh, in a relationship or something like this, where you do some of the work in terms of the manifesting and the expectation of it, and and you you're doing some of that spiritual work, you know, where you're dreaming about it, feeling it, um, and then you have uh, the actual outcome of it. And um, I think that here it's important to be able to understand that, that it's okay to take a break, and it's okay to be able to enjoy life and just create that balance in your life and not just be completely focused on whatever you're doing uh, all the time, but to be able to take a break from that focus. But when you get back into things, to be able to really focus hard and know exactly what you're doing and be able to put all your all into it in the way that you have already for the last couple of months. So I spoke last year around October, uh, November, about how manifestation is, is really possible. And I feel here... For some of you, you might have manifested things already, but for others of you, if you've been putting the effort in at the end of last year, you're going to see the results in uh, the end of January, February, March, and it's going to be quite a successful time for you. And I feel that this, is, this card year is really one of success. It's really one of being able to create a reality for yourself, one that you desire, one that you're hoping for, one that you're wishing for, one that resonates thoroughly with you. So if you um, aren't feeling this message, if, if it's not resonating with you, I want to say go and feel right now what is it that you truly desire, what is it that resonates with you, what is that reality that resonates with you more than anything in the world right now. So feel it and just taste it and go ahead because that energy, it's that energy that's going to be able to manifest whatever it is that you desire and you're going to be successful in that. Now, if you're at that point where you're feeling a bit down, you're feeling a bit oppressed, you're feeling, uh, you know, that, that there's some negative vibes around you, then take a moment to release that and then make an appointment with yourself to be able to feel what it is that you truly desire so that you can bring that into the world as you go along in the future. And that is something where there is going to be success. I feel like there's a lot of energy here. There's a lot of momentum. There's a lot of stamina that you have in you. But you also just need to be able to know when to take a break and to be able to stop 
so that you can start again. So I hope that message resonates with you. I, oops, sorry for that. I hope that that has been helpful. And I just want to say, please stay safe, stay healthy, and be, be blessed. And I'll catch you next week. All right. Hope that you will stay. Hope that everything goes well for you. Lots of love to you. And for those of you who've chosen the option number three, um, I am re-recording this uh, because I didn't have the proper audio, but we are asking the question, what is your weekly oracle card guidance and what is your message of empowerment for the year ahead? And so we have, let's come out here, the number 44, and I'm going to re-channel the message for you and try to remember the message that I've actually had recorded for you previously all right so here i feel that it's important to take help from others it's important to understand one's own reality one's own um, limitations and to recognize the strength in others and to recognize where others can help you and not to look a gift horse in the mouth so not to judge too harshly the flaws of another but to be able to walk together and to be able to help each other and move ahead and i feel that there's a particular goal or a particular path that you have ahead of you in this year and the way in which to go about this is to seek help from others because it's not just you who's going to be able to make this thing happen it's going to be that you there's a whole range of skills that are going to come from different people that is going to help you to create this. So the first message I'm getting here is not to be afraid to ask for help. And even though you may think that you don't want to have help from a particular person because there might be strings attached or you might feel that it's just not a healthy relationship or something like this, um, the message here is to look at that person who you want to have that help from. Uh, or you expect to that could help you and see them for the goodness that they have in them not see them for the flaws that they have or not see them for the limitations that they have or how they impact you negatively but to see them for where they can help you and how they can assist you because what I'm seeing here is a person who's moving ahead and there are people accompanying her but to help her but not all of those people actually uh, honor her or help her as she goes ahead and it's necessary to be able to take um, the good with the bad and roll with punches as they say but to, to be able to take the goodness that comes from this person and to be able to focus on the goodness that they are able to give you and I feel that it's more than one person so you might have the vision but there are others around you who are going to help you to achieve that goal or to achieve to realize that vision and they might sometimes be naysayers and they might sometimes not believe in it but you shouldn't let that get in the way of how it is that you move forward and how it is that you go about getting what you need to it's almost like you just need to carve the path ahead of you and say I'm going to go ahead no matter what happens and I'm going to create that for me I recognize my own flaws I recognize my own limitations but I also recognize that I can move forward in a way that I can achieve what I want to achieve. And it feels here that if, if, there's a, if you're prone to aggression, or you, you're prone to annoyance, or you, you're prone to feeling irritated by another, that you actually just need to uh, pull that back and move more gracefully through this path because and you need to find the goodness in others as you go ahead. This is not to say that they won't annoy you, they won't irritate you, they won't pose an obstacle to you at, at times but it's about how you manage the people around you uh, so that they can be of assistance to you and they can actually give their goodness to you and not just uh, annoy you uh, so to say so that is a very specific uh, example I'm not sure if it resonates with every single one of you but I think the message to take from here is to say that there's something good here that can come out of all of you working together uh, not necessarily at the same time, but at different stages. Um, and to be able to bring that goodness, because everyone has something good to offer here. Everyone can contribute to this goal that you have, to this uh, final destination. And to be able to help people to do that, and even help allow those to help you who have uh, hurt you in the past, and who you've not been able to trust in the past. Because here, 
it's a feeling as if um, if you trust someone and if you give them your trust and your belief that they will be trustworthy, that they will be somebody that, that you can believe in and they will be able to give you what you need to be able to move ahead. There's also a sense here of being able to accept oneself for all one's limitations, all one's, one's flaws, all of that which is not really what you appreciate about yourself. So we're, see, you know, make a note of what it is that you do not appreciate about yourself. What's your negative self-talk? Where is it that you bring yourself down or putting yourself down without even realizing it, uh, but that you're limiting yourself in some way? And to be able to look at oneself and find one's beauty in oneself, what's inside of you, but as well as what's outside of you, you know, your external self, your body, to be able to recognize the beauty uh, of yourself. And if you if you have that speak, that negative speak, where you're saying, oh, well, my nose is too long, or my or I'm too thin, or I'm too, too fat, or whatever your words are, um, that it's limiting you in some way. And so this person, the, this, the message for you for empowerment as you go along is to say, well, I need to move in grace. I need to move in grace with myself. And being, being able to be in grace allows me to look at myself in a way that I see myself as a blessing. I see all my, my attributes good and bad, whatever, however you may couch that as being useful to me, as being part of who I am, and I accept that, and I love that about myself. So there's, there's really a feel here about being more compassionate to oneself, as well as being more compassionate to others, and to be able to bring others along. You are the leader in this, uh, and you do not need to let yourself be led astray. Rather, you need to focus on where you're headed, and allow others to help you to achieve your path or where it is that you're going to. And so I feel that that is an important thing uh, or that is important for you as you go along. I feel that whatever you're working on right now is going to help you feel more youthful or it's going to reverse uh, stress in your life or take away some years of aging from you. So whatever it is that has held you back um, it's time to kind of open that door, open the windows, let the sunshine come in, let the fresh air come in, and just go along in that path. And it's going to bring back a youthfulness in you. So uh, for those of you who are still in your youth and you're listening to this, uh, this is something that's going to take away your stress. It's going to take away any kind of uh, difficulty that you have. So just move with grace and allow others to help you and manage how they help you and you're going to find that you are able to achieve whatever it is that you set your heart uh, out to, to achieve. So that's my message for you for this week um, and I feel that um, there's one more thing. You don't need to set limitations on yourself. You don't need to set boundaries for yourself but it's important to set boundaries so that you can actually uh, do what it is that you need to do with with those around you. So you may need to set boundaries for those for your relationships with others, for with others. But you don't need to be held within a particular context. You can go beyond that. And I think that's important for some of you to hear right now that you actually can go ahead uh, without being held behind. Okay. So I know that's a really abstract message here, but I think that. It can actually help you. Let me know if it resonates with you. Let me know how you go along in the year. I really appreciate it when you come back to me and tell me, oh, well, you know, uh, you said that. or you, That was said in a reading and it's come true. So thank you all very much for doing that whenever you do it. And thank you all for subscribing and for commenting. I love all of, I love to read all of your messages. So I want to say, please be safe, be strong, be healthy, stay uh, away from anything that may harm you and just go ahead fearlessly and many, many blessings to you all. Thank you all for coming to this week's reading. Thank you all for uh, all your love and I'm wishing you a fabulous week as you go along. Um, please stay well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.